Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the third problem of code forces round 927 division 3. So what is the problem? The problem is that uh, we are given an array A of n integers uh, and a positive integer m and we are given a string of commands of length n. Uh, so in each command we are given some uh, character l or r. l means that we have to remove the leftmost element of the array and r means that we have to remove the rightmost element of the array. And after removal is done, we have to find uh, the uh, multiplication of all those elements uh, with modulo m. So let's take one example to understand it better. So let's say let's take this example only. So let me copy this. Uh, okay. So this means that we are given four integers: mm, three, one, four, two. So at, uh, at the start, we have to uh, print. The multiply of all this all those four elements so 3 into 1 into 4 into 2 is nothing but 24 24 modulo 6 is 0 so uh, and now we are uh, going with, we are going with the commands so at the first command l that means we have to remove the leftmost element of the array so after uh, we have removed 3 now you have to find uh, the multiplication of the rest elements modulo 6 which is nothing but 8 modulo 6 is 2 now at the second command we have to remove the rightmost element of the array. Now it's 4 into 1 modulo 6 and this is nothing but 4. This is 2. This is 4. And we are removing 4. And again, uh, sorry. Uh, again we are uh, at the third index and we have to remove the rightmost element which is 4. Now uh, this will be 1. So our answer will be 0, 2, 4, 1. So our answer will be 0, 2, 4, 1. Okay. So like that. So this problem uh, seems quite straightforward uh, if you know about modular uh, modular inverse or modulo inverse let's say we have to uh, instead of finding the product let's say we have to find the sum okay let's say we have to find the sum so let's say the sum of all the elements is we are storing it in, in c okay c is nothing but 3 plus 1 4 8 and 10 okay and we have to remove the rightmost element so uh, when we are removing the rightmost element, we will do the inverse operation of this. So, uh, let's say uh, we are removing the rightmost element, say 2. So, we will subtract 2 from 10. So, this will be 8. So, we will take two pointers, L and R. When we have to remove the leftmost element, we will do uh, C minus equals to A of L, L plus plus, or you can directly write C minus equals to A of L plus plus. When we have to remove the rightmost element, we have to, we have to do nothing but C minus equals to a of r minus minus okay so this uh, uh, algorithm is quite straightforward and the problem will become quite easy with this approach okay but here we can't really uh, do uh, division we, we can really do division but our answer uh, we have to do division modulo something okay so we can we can do c into equals to uh, let's say we are storing c as the multiplication of all the element and instead of doing this c minus equals to we can directly do c by equals to this is definitely possible but here we have to find the mul uh, multiplication modulo m so you can say that we will do c uh, by equals to a of l plus plus and after that we will do c modulo equals to m but here we are maintaining c as the multiplication of all those elements so the value of c could be huge okay so that could not be possible to hold in a long long okay so this as approach is definitely not possible now you can think about some modular inverse or modular inverse so if uh, there are uh, some uh, uh, mathematics behind finding modular inverse one is uh, the modular inverse could be uh, let's say uh, of p to the power mod minus 2 modulo m this is one modular inverse but in that case uh, mod has to be prime so this is not defi definitely not possible because m could be uh, not prime or compound also so this approach is also not possible so how we can do this so instead of solving this problem from top to down let's solve the problem from bottom to up okay so uh, let's say uh, we are solving the problem bottom to up what does that mean that means that uh, let's say at the end we have some empty array okay at the end we have some empty array and the multiplication of uh, some empty array will be one obviously now after that what is the last removed element let's say last removed element is eight okay so instead of uh, dividing we are, here we are dividing so we'll add eight in the array and we will multiply one into eight so we'll take eight modulo m okay so we'll take eight modulo m this will be and now what is the next uh, what is the uh, the previous uh, deleted element let's say that was 3 so we'll add 3 in the array and we will multiply 8 with 3 
so it will be nothing but 24 modulo m like that so uh, so the solving the problem from top to down was difficult that's why we are constructing the problem backward or bottom to up so how, now how we can do this how we can solve something bottom to up so the answer is recursion so we have to solve this problem using recursion or there could be some other approaches also but recursion sounds straightforward to me so let's jump into the code uh, the idea of the uh, code is nothing but this only that we are uh, trying to find the last answer possible and we are uh, let's say we are doing something recursion of n minus 1 recursion of n minus 1 will be some empty array and after that we will be returning uh, the answer so let's jump into the code how we are solving this so if l equals to equals to r that means that uh, all the elements are deleted and we are at the last element that will be deleted so we are putting answer of i which is uh, the index i is our index uh, our recursion parameter is l and r and uh, answer of i is al modulo m and we are returning the answer of i backwards okay uh, here i have explained now uh, after doing recursion of n minus 1 we are uh, giving the answer back to the previous step or you can say recursion of n minus 2 okay so what the recursion of n minus 2 will do so it will do uh, if uh, s of i equals to equals to l then we are doing answer of i equals to recursion of l plus 1 we are uh, incrementing the left pointer and uh, i pointer will be always incremented uh, and we are doing into a of l okay and we are returning it back similarly uh, for the uh, if s of i is right we are will be decrementing the right pointer and we are multiplying it by a of r and we are storing it in answer of i okay so uh, we are starting the recursion from 0 n minus 1 and 0 um, the left pointer is 0 and the, our index index will be nothing but uh, our uh, uh, the index is nothing but storing the uh, storing the answer the specific index uh, and the right pointer is n minus 1 and at the end we are printing the answer element uh, answer array so the problem is quite straightforward just you have to think uh, about recursion and solving the problem bottom to up instead of uh, solving the problem from top to down uh, and the problem will be quite straightforward if you have uh, if you find this video helpful please like the video and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt in any part of the explanation or code you can always ask in the comment section i'll provide the link of the code in the description box also thank you